say you're trying out for volleyball and you don't know exactly what you need to do. I'm here for you. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel's full of tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So today I thought I would talk to you about things that you need during this time right now to try out for volleyball because things are a little bit different. Let's get right into it. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I make a lot of different videos about volleyball tryouts, volleyball in general, and things that you can use in your volleyball journey. And I thought that it was that time of year where a lot of you guys are starting to try out. So I thought that I would show you some things that are really important that you can really use during your volleyball tryouts. So there are some things that you can really use that can be especially helpful, especially when you're trying out right now. So let's start from the beginning. Of course, obviously during this time, you're going to need your mask. So I have this mask from All Volleyball. It's very stretchy. I can make sure it covers my entire mouth. And this is something that I can wear when I'm playing with others, when I'm practicing. But it also has the Volley Strong logo, so that way you can see that, you know, I'm taking volleyball very seriously. And it's something that is important to me. So I can wear this mask. I wear my Volley Strong mask, especially when I am playing with others. And I'm playing for the first time this week, you guys. I'm so excited. But this is something that I wear. So you want to make sure that you have a mask. But you also want to make sure you have a backup mask as well. And you want a mask that has moisture wicking material. Like this one has a moisture wicking material. So that way when I sweat, it's okay. And one that fits your face all the way and will stay up. So when you're moving, you don't have to keep readjusting. So the first thing on your list should be your mask. After your mask, you want to wear a bright colored shirt. And I talked about this for years and years and years, that a bright colored shirt is really, really helpful, especially when you want to stand out. So as you guys know, I love my old my volleyball shirt. So I have a bright colored shirt. This shirt is something that I would wear to tryouts because look how bright it is and it's going to stand out in the crowd. The number one thing that I want to do is stand out in the crowd because I want people to see me when I'm trying out. I want you to go, oh wow, there's her, there she, there she is. You know, so they can see me when I'm trying out, especially when you have so many different people and now they might be doing a rotational tryout because you know there's so many people and there's so many guidelines so this can really be helpful especially if it's something that keeps you recognizable but wait I did have a question from somebody that says coach what if they make us wear the same color because coaches are starting to catch on to the bright color shirt trick what if they make us all wear the same color that's when you can get a different kind of headband you can wear a different kind of barrette I know you guys like the scrunchies different kind of scrunchie you have a Fitbit something that can make you stand out that's what we want we want something that can make you stand out different color socks something that can help you stand out so it doesn't have to be a bright colored shirt it's just something to help you stand out so this is why I have the bright colored shirt and all the uh, all these objects will be linked down below in the comments make sure to bring some kind of snack with you especially afterwards because volleyball tryouts can be kind of tiring so I like these nature's valley nature's bakery bars I always keep one in my volleyball bag at all times I keep this in my bag at all times because you never know when you're gonna need a snack and it's important to fuel your body with the different kinds of foods and the right kinds of foods and this is full of whole grains so you want a healthy snack oranges and I have another video that's right here if you want some tips on healthy snacks oranges a banana can help with the cramps um, whole grains vegetables something that's gonna fuel your body is what you need when you're going to try out Hand sanitizer. I was a hand sanitizer person before hand sanitizer become a hand sanitizer person, if you know what I mean. Hand sanitizer, make sure you get one that's refillable. So what I do is after I'm done, I pump this and I fill this one back up. So I keep hand sanitizer in my bag. Some of you guys have those cute ones that can go in your backpack. Ooh, I should make some of those. Um, some cute hand sanitizer that you can keep so that way you have that on your person at all times because you wanna keep your hands safe, especially with all the germs that's going on right now hand sanitizer. Last but not least, well not last, a water bottle. So this is my water bottle. It's really cute, okay? I have a sleeve on it, so that way it's a carrying case. So I try to drink one of these every single day. So this is my water bottle. 
um, I try to keep my water bottle there so that way I have something that I can drink and um, sip on. You want to stay hydrated. You want to try to stay away from really sugary drinks because those are just going to get you a little bit wired and you want to make sure to stay fueled. So water bottle is great. I also suggest that you bring a small Powerade or Gatorade because that can be helpful with replenishing your electrolytes. And with replenishing your electrolytes, we want to make sure that we're fueled. Water, unfortunately, can't do that for you, but this can. So I want you to get a Gatorade or a Powerade, a small one, and supplement that with your water because you want to stay hydrated. That's really, really important. Now, a lot of questions I get about what do I wear? Like, I know what I'm supposed to bring, but what am I even supposed to wear? Now, I get the question in a lot of my comments. Coach, do I need to get volleyball shoes? What kind of volleyball shoes do I need? You don't need volleyball shoes. I would just bring some regular tennis shoes or sneakers. So these are my running tennis shoes as by, you can see how dirty they are. I would bring some running tennis shoes or sneakers, something that is comfortable that you can move in. If you do have volleyball shoes, sure, you can wear them. But I don't recommend that you buy volleyball shoes initially because you never know what your team colors are gonna be. You never know what you're gonna need. So I recommend that you just get some tennis shoes that you can wear, you know, things that are comfortable for you. This is what I recommend that you get. Also, I have a video coming up talking about the spandex, but I would recommend a short. You don't have to wear a spandex if you don't feel comfortable wearing a spandex. Um, you can wear a short, so I can wear some shorts or something like that, a short. But even if you can't wear something like that, there are longer spandex that you can wear that I tend to wear. There's a longer spandex that could be comfortable. You want to be comfortable more than all because comfortability is really essential in something like this. So make sure that you are comfortable. Okay, and then here's one thing that people often almost always forget and I always remind people something people always forget is this. I don't know if I can even zoom in a first aid kit. I suggest that you get a first aid kit that has some alcohol wipes in it that has some um, band-aids in it get something that you need because one thing people always forget is the band-aids and let's say you get a scrape which happens all the time you get a scrape or something like that and you need a band-aid you can help yourself by having a band-aid also i would put chapstick in here i don't have any chapstick right now so there's a gloss that i like to use because i get cotton mouth so put all that kind of stuff in there so that way you have that and you don't have to rely on asking anybody for anything because you have that with you so this is something that can be really helpful especially if you know you're prone to accidents or you just want to be safe so this is something you can use okay so this is great also, if there's anything else that you think that you need that you think will be helpful for somebody else, make sure you leave that in the comments down below because I know that right now it's a different time and things are different and things will be happening differently. So let's share and collaborate down below. What are some things that we can do to be able to better our chances to making the team? So I really hope that you like this video. I hope this video was helpful for you and great good luck on your tryouts. As always, leave comments below down below videos that you would like to see because I would love to bring you you guys some new content fresh ideas and make sure to help you on your volleyball journey also I'm planning on starting volleyball vlogs again are you excited so I hope that you tune in for those and let's get to work together all right I'll see you guys next time